Guys, back another episode of Freight Experience out here in Santa Cruz yet again for the yearly trip. In Casey, we're starting off Rot Her. Uh, we got some kelp moving in here, so I kind of like that. And we're gonna start off with uh, going for some surf perch, or basically whatever we catch right now with these sandworms. Throwing the camo. I got a Carolina rig, and I believe he has a slip rig. He's got to thread that on there just like that. Slide it up. Take the ass into the worm, middle of the worm right there. Thread it through just like that, keep it from slipping. And in Casey's, I believe, is gonna do the same. That possible? Oh. There you go. I'm gonna go fishing. I just gotta be careful because the waves are gonna be breaking somewhere where I'm about to be standing. But, like right there. But, uh, it might be a bigger one. Let's see, what do we got? All right, so the rod I'm using is a uh, nine foot two piece, no, 10 foot two piece salmon and, or, uh, trout and steelhead salmon, what you call it. I got a one ounce weight. Gonna throw that out there, let it hit the bottom and let the current do all the work for me. And make sure I don't get a giant wave to come slap me. I wonder if there'll be fish right here in front of me. Let's find out. Right here in this turning stuff. You think there'd be some surf perch there looking to feed or something? I'll let this thing sway around in here. Keith, I got one. I got one. Right where I said they should be. First blood. There we go. Heck yeah. Santa Cruz trip. Give me a one ounce weight, please. Gotcha. Look at that, guys, right there. A barred surf perch, I believe. Yeah. Barred, right there. Beautiful first fish of the day. It ain't big, but I'm happy I got him. All right, guys, let's get the release of this little barred surf perch. There he goes. And, because right now my weight's on the bottom, moving around, but on top, which I believe is a six foot leader, is my uh, is my sandworm that's just moving around with the current, just like a real sandworm would be doing. I got one. Bigger. Oh, he choked it. I think so. Eat a little. That was out there hella far too. Big wave? Oh, they may have shifted out a little bit deeper. <laughs> but my line hopefully is not gonna get caught up on that. Huh? You got you got one? Casey's on his first one. Fuck what, is it a good one? Oh, hell yeah. I popped it out of the kelp bed. Dude, that's a big bear, or bear uh, barred surf perch. All right, guys, he's gonna, get, he's gonna get the release of the biggest one I've seen in quite a while. It's about a 12 incher. And he's right back. Hey. Is that a fish? No, I'm just grabbing bottom. Yes! There's definitely a lot of fish, but they're not big. Tell me about it. <laughs> Casey, I figured out why it feels, when I switch over this pyramid weight, it feels like I'm getting a bite every drop. Yeah. Because it's just rolling. That's, that's, that's why you keep watching mine like that. All right, guys, get yourself a Ford key right here. Ford 2017, or, yep, 2000. Uh, I'm going for the bigger one, my big hit. Right there, look at that, 2016 Ford Key. Better than any pliers you got. Oh, what do you just go and you pop it? Yeah, it took it, took it right out. Look at that, a little, smallest one I've ever caught. And that was fun. Alrighty guys, we're calling it a day at this spot, but I believe we're gonna go get some lunch and then we're gonna go fish somewhere else. Casey, what, what, you only got one? That was just that one? Yeah, just that one. But it just had to be big, it had to be a good one. That was a good one. I'm happy that you caught that fish. And then eventually, I think I, I think I caught like eight, but they're all small. But I'm happy we caught some fish. And stay tuned for the next part tomorrow or what's probably delayed to today. Let's get it.